Right. So you're engaged right now. Who? No. Uh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah, my well, man. Uh, she's a chef. Yeah, she's a chef. Best chef. How long have you been with her? Like five years. Damn, you should be engaged. <laughs> She understands what's going on with the music and everything. You got kids. Tell me about your kids. Yeah, I got two daughters. Yeah. Beautiful. So, do they notice, like, oh my God, dad is like a superstar my, now? My second one, no, you know, my first one, no, she can talk to ten, ten of her friends in school. Because the first one lives in Nigeria with her mom. Okay. So she boss, she's coming, daddy, baby. <laughs> so, then she gets special attention in school. Cause, but my second daughter lives in Atlanta. Uh huh. She showed me when she was no, I don't want that. I want something in the bag. That you were like, I can't even believe I'm here right now. There ain't nothing in the bag, man. Because, you know, we, it's, it's different. America's crazy. You know, song, chill. You got to get a plan. Come on, son. Let me send it. No. As you should. Got me, though. Oh. <laughs> got it now. We're going to do Joss first, babe. We can just read these. <laughs> I just delegated. That's all. Um, okay. so. Teen love. Can I join? 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 You know, you're representing Africa, Nigeria. How does it feel now that you're actually crossing over into, like, mainstream radio? I mean, um, honestly, when I tried to cross, it didn't work. When I didn't try, it worked. Really? So how long have you been trying? I mean, like, I've been in, like, I started music, I'm 26 right now. Like, I've been in the game. My first single, I dropped back home mm -hmm. in Africa when I was, like, 17. Right. It was big. So I've been big, like... The thing about Africa, once you're big in Africa, the Africans all over the world. So you get demand everywhere in the world, not mainstream wise. Like I did my first show in New York, four thousand people when I was twenty. Wow. And I was like, well, we're just basically Africans, because you know the Africans everywhere, and because of the internet, they know what's popping back home, so they get the music back home and they listen. I went back, got in the studio with my original producers, the same people. That, they put me in the studio with producers that had. Equipment from here to Fifth Eye, like crazy equipment. And I'm used to just recording a laptop and a mic. Yeah. And I went back to that. And so, I, so, and I made all these songs. So, is your money different? I mean, I made, I made for Nigeria. Yeah. Without any intent of it being international. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I just keep going, keep just doing it. You know, whichever one catches on, catches on. Yeah. So, how are you using, like, this? new attention to like bring you know awareness to Nigeria um, um I mean everybody know about Nigeria man. you know what I'm saying from the that to the this to the
anywhere they saw me overseas, they always made sure I was good. And they told a lot of people about me and what I was doing in Africa. And this is before, like, the big, big records came. And they deaded the ignorance of how people think, like, you go to Africa. We got my money to you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know that, oh, yeah. Shit.